you are no longer in a position to have the element of surprise. You can't jump anyone across the map. A spark race, thunderbolt. Like you, you have ways of uh, meat, so you'll always be in vision. So look at this right now. There is a slight lead going in favor of the rating on the basis of this starting creep waves. Mm -hmm. You expect Pierre to suffer a oh. little bit, but Beastmaster is. DA mid, DA mid. Oh, get to first one. What? Yeah. He gets it. They Brings so much pressure in the game. It's always when you don't see him, it's hard to use the courier. It's hard, it's hard to be overly aggressive on some lanes. And top lane. Yep, they're going in. Cuckoo down to half HP, trying to move. The features block them off. I logic has to retreat, but Cuckoo taking a little damage. Can get low from Liquid Fire. Does have the big stick to work with, just trying to pull him out. No! Flyku like gets the hit. He thought he could hold onto the stick for longer, and he was wrong. Tim's, he might have enough for the Fissure to stop White Mom from regenerating. Super. I'm not sure if it's worth it. I mean, so far, this is all happening because Beastmaster on the bottom lane, he went for Call of the Wild. And because of going for Call of the Wild, he can't be killed by Fox. So they don't really have the best kill potential on it. So this is really smart from him. He went away from doing the standard build of uh, maxing the uh, uh, wild axes and the passive into getting a point in uh, Call of the Wild. So no that's nice. No the cooldown is long though, so he has to be careful. That's always the catch with it. That's, uh, typically, that, that is why no one took it anymore, is they changed it. It used to be that it was quite a low cooldown, and you'd always hit Call of the Wild, to the point that support Beastmaster was becoming a very strong Radiant thing. Yeah, he, he would always uh, have a beast up. And... Oh, Jakiro top. Oh, looks like that. Let's get high logic here. But Whitemon won't be so lucky. He won't be on the edge, he'll be over. The final tap should come out. Tims will find him, look for the punch. A little bit of time wasted, but there you go. Cuckoo still gets the hit. And like you will just reveal to get rid of the clarity. Needs to be careful the stun's coming out. They got enough for a lightning bolt, so he doesn't want to pressure this too hard. Yeah, he has to be careful there. But creation for them. And the problem is, even if you fissure block her, she still has that phantom strike to work with, so. Look at this backstab that could come in though. Jakira is here now as well, so it's a free on two. Him down to half HP. Not much man to work with, but they're going brief fire. Going to Cuckoo, down to half HP. Just melt through so quickly and Chant Tone will not save his life. Cuckoo should still fall. Yeah, at the same time, bottom lane, they're wrapping around. And All around the back, the frost fight. Ninja Boo, you see him dive in the towel. Versus Crystal Maiden and Arc Warden, and he's getting farming experience. He has to be punished, so good rotation by them. Top lane. Oh, uh, he blocks them yeah, out. Yeah, just doesn't want to deal with the aggression. They're trying to go for the rune. They should be able to pick it up. Lysu taking a lot of damage. Need to be careful. Actually, Lightning Bolt coming out. He might not be able to get away from this. Gonna try and get into the wall, but it won't matter. Yeah, that was really greedy. That was so... He out. She didn't care about Lysu. He's gonna try and make a move towards bot now that Gabby's alone. Uh, but the problem is, Vile still does not have level 6 yet. Gabby does. You have to be careful about how you aggress this. Mm -hmm. Like, he can actually turn on that. They, they do not have enough levels. Yeah, the look, look at Lysu's health right now. Yeah, that's the thing. And that's only level two of Spark Break. Like, he... I mean, they can get him. Uh, that, that's for sure, but Beastmaster has to be closer. And get him. They'll probably give over a kill. Gabby. The Spark Break's going down. The Flux. The Tempest Double being used now. Gonna start spamming about Vlaisu. Trying to dive the tower alongside Evile. Evile needs one more touch. We'll just throw out the Axes. They'll get the kill. Vlaisu, can they get him here? No mana for the Spark Break from the Tempest Double. So perfectly timed with the move. Uh, the... To be careful. I mean, this is kind of the thing. When you run a tri lane against heroes like uh, an Earthshaker, they ruin your day. I know. Light it bolt. They do see Vlaisu here. The fish is going to be there. Cuckoo beat up to do it by iLogic, but nope. They'll get a kill on the chat. Oh, the bounty hunter looked to move away. iLogic turned around on here, getting a low on HP. The spark rape goes down. The stun control is good, and he's going to fall. He throws out the dagger, but it still doesn't kill off Cuckoo. And now White Mon's going to go down as well. The rotation from Gabby's Tempest double is on point. So it was only the Tempest double that went top, and he still gets a, like, a kill on Jakiro. Meanwhile, look at Armel. He's got the sentry down. There's so many traps. Vlice is going to pull the primal. is going to come out, though. They're trying to get through the pressure quick enough. They do need to use the side, but it's not enough damage. No. Armel's going to stay alive. The lightning bolt coming out. Vile needs to back up a little bit here. Armel get low, but not low enough. The spark rape's going to come out. The slow with the trap. Vile will fall. Armel dodges out the axes, and they completely nullified. It was Arc Warden that rotated. It was Arc Warden that killed PA. This isn't really the... This isn't the... Tim's Echo coming in, the creeps here as well, Necrofox gone! Just walks up and says hello, now Vlaisu needs to move away, they got the lightning bolt to reveal him, they're gonna get him low, not low enough, the dagger slows down Kuki, he needs to move right quicker than this, but no, the enchant home control, double kill for Tim's. Uh, Evos, man, they eat something. Yeah, that, that's the thing, putting these down, they know where Gabby is. Now, Gelo, he's backing up, he's like, this is wrong, something's not right here, he's right, Tim's coming around the back, but the enchant home's there, they have to use the primary war, but it's not gonna be enough, they're gonna try and jump in the jump stick, but he's too tanky, he's gonna stay alive and back away, the trap's coming out, they need to retreat, but it's too late, they're gonna move forward, the side's gonna come out the back, but it's not gonna be enough, Kuki 
Goku survives the site. One's up, gonna move away. Face Hugger just trying to dive deep with the Ghost Shroud. But now he's all alone in no man's land. Bounty Hunter trying to snipe oh, out of teams. No, no, the feature, the enchant don't control. Raikou, they might even get him. He doesn't get oh, any God. kills here. The triple kill for Goku. Uh -huh. And TNC at every turn has approached the PA and gone. She could crit this many times. Yeah. And they've adjusted the way they approach each they, fight on that. They've been careful. Even though they're winning, they're, they're still patient. They're still careful. They aren't getting ahead of themselves. And yeah. So overall, they did look at uh, career. Like it. Think. Block, Spark Rave. No, he's dead. Yeah. The bounty can go nowhere. Try to get this Arc Warden with another smoke. Uh, th this Arc Warden is possibly the easiest kill for them besides the Crystal Maiden. Uh oh. Avile, they see him here. Team's moving forward. There's going to be TP coming in. Avile in trouble. Meanwhile, Armel does run down White Bomb, but this is Arc Warden and BA, uh, and they're still doing so well. And Necro pressure. might actually feel it. He is going to face Hugo. Reveals the feature of the control. Stun Strike can't do anything, just disappears. Armel reveals. Yep. Again, and it's it, well, I say reveal, it's, it's kind of like he's barely used it. That's the first time he's actually used it aggressively. Really. I mean, he's gonna have Dust later. Yep, and now like you. Uh oh, he can't get out. Revealed, and he's dead. Double kill for Armel. Like I said, he's gonna have a Death Slayer. Going the other way. Oh, they, they're going straight in the Roach Pit. I mean, they got the Death Slayer. Why not? There is a Hawk, though, so they should see it. But how do you drop this up? Yeah, what can you do against the Dust? Oh, jump forward. Black Q, he's almost dead here. This thing almost kills him. Prime World's gonna come up, but Armel, he's not too bad. The Ice Bath only plays Laiku. Like he's gonna go down still. They do drop the Macro Pyre, but the Refraction means Armel doesn't care too much. So just back up, reset, go back into the pit. Then, I mean, they, well, they can do whatever they want to. They can delay, they can go for the towers. They can chill, they can kill this bounty hunter at the tier 2. Yeah, who's uh, being ambitious yeah, with his positioning. Can do. for this stage. We do have a first item BKB on VA. Uh, you had no choice. I mean, really I, I respect this. I understand why he did it. But the problem with this item build is if he doesn't get kills... Uh, Necro? Go. He has to do something. This is the only option. Therefore, the problem is they're just doing a good job of avoiding being initiated on. Tim's oh. moving forward, stun comes out. Uh oh, like you've been found, and then we just run him down. Armel gets him from half HP to nut. I'm He's just desperate for a little bit of cash in his, his pocket. Like, what, what can you do? I, I feel like right now I'm looking at this game, and I mean, uh, usually when you die, you lose. You lose money. You're not gonna get it by by dying. So I mean, look, well, look at the value of like as well. This is the poorest bounty hunter we've seen in a long time. Yep. He has not had a single track kill. This is yeah, they actually haven't, right? <laughs> What's they they know a single. This has been flawless execution by TNC. You can't fault them. So yeah, there's four deaths on the board, but they didn't matter. And while well, there's another death, Necrofoss found he still dies like that. Yeah. Yules and then the Yules just set up the spark rate or two. It's. Well, Armel's knocking on the door. Problems may begin to occur here. Echo coming in on the side. They're going to be able to find the kill. They get the pick off. No! Three dead now on the side of e bosses. Necros is going to hit onto the buildings. Still this has, is hard. Still has that Aegis. Still has the BKB. The Aegis is going to run out soon. Though. Well, Blink in. Going forward. Just going to melt straight for Beast Master. One more tap will do it. The Ice Pump to buy a little bit of time. But Vil, he's still going to fall. Armel not even popping the Aegis yet. Base Hugger trying to will him down. But gets sucked up himself. Now the Spark Rape. The Eagle's coming out. Armel's going to move forward. He says, all right, you wanted this. Here it comes. The Ghost Rider to protect. But he's already silenced up. He can't move away. Quick enough. The Frostbite down to half HP. Vigil, he might be close enough. Armel tries to strike through the side blades. But can't. The Primal coming out. Maybe they get him a second time. Refraction still is going down the side. They've got him. Armel dies. Finally. And now the Ice Bomb chasing balls. Looking for more Ninja Boogie. Can he get out? Yes, he can. The track doesn't matter. They're not fast enough to chase with this. A uh, little bit. Oh, shoot. Oh, Ninja. Is he going to get out? Lives life on the edge. No, he's fine. The vision to cover him. But that is the big kill they need. 85 seconds still on the sideline for the Templar Assassin. And they, they got almost 800 gold for that kill. Yeah, 800 gold going the way of Necro. Yeah, it's you always should been that be way. able. You should be able to use it. So Yeah, that never got fixed. Well, sorry. Features. Features don't get fixed. It's a feature. However, Arc Warden, this is a Nah, he's spot. spawned out. Oh, yeah. Tempest doubles up. It's like, okay, what's going on over here, boys? And now the sun's coming up. Beastmaster, he's going to die this. Spark Rape's going to be there. He's attacking the right individual. He's going to get him low. It's going to be close. They're finally got trapped. Oh, man. They'll get the kill. And no investment really had there. And look, officially. Yep. Yep. The, 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 the problem with the shit pick on Arc Warden is that it doesn't really give you a lot of damage. It just gives you pick off potential. And you can fall off hard if you do that and you don't have any armor. Oh, well, BKB coming out. No, he gets his own BKB off. This side does no damage. I logic. He definitely have to use it there. He can't afford to die any more times. Rush is up in 20 seconds, by the way. It's not top, right? Yeah, top. Tempest double just trying to sneak in. Yeah. They're doing a good job of managing this, though, that now. Gabby can't exactly do whatever he wants anymore. Although, he actually, he almost kills Beastmaster here. No, but he got wrapped. No! 
Let's just say. Almost. Almost. Well, I mean, Gabby still got the kill as well. The mid lane. Look at this. Viking found as well. Silent stuff. He's dead. All right. Just, just you know, just arc. It's boogie. <laughs> Once again, it just sends a message when a CM goes in the base first like that. I mean, yeah, she's scouting Crystal Maiden. Initiating Crystal Maiden. <laughs> of course. Nothing but tranquils and wind lanes. Seems good. Yeah, we just trying to scare the crap out of people. Magnetic Field goes down, and they go down. Tempest Double is going to run out. If you want to go, this is the moment to do so, or you give over a lane. There's no easy opportunity for them right now. They're just trying to track everyone up. But, I mean, TNT is smart about this. Once the tracks start to come out, they immediately move away. They know the potential damage they can be after the BKB, which isn't awesome. She does have 1,500 gold. Just oh. play them. Maybe. Maybe oh. she dies here. Are we going to see the first track kill of the game? Maybe. Ninja Boogie trying to run away, and no one's helping him out. Crystal Nervous slow things down the Frostbite's there, he put down Sentry, Shuriken Toss, but Tim's oh, yeah. Echo, oh, he's waiting, the fish are coming in, good control, going on the Blind Q now, and now there's the, there's the, oh, the Primal Roar coming out, they can't get Scrub quick enough, Vexak is dead, Ninja Boogie's still alive, he's still not going to die, no to the Macro Pie, they chase through a little bit more, they already got rid of the battery, and now White Man's going to go down as well, Ninja and Ninja Boogie, Should be. is he alive? No, Do a no, Do a no, no, they get him, <laughs> they got him. But then it doesn't matter. They get a V-Lay in return, and the only one... Ah, uh, yeah. You should kill the Ancient. Oh, that's Come right. On. Yes, you need to kill the cause of this day. G Gabby? All right, this is a brave dive, and it looks like he's just going to kill White. No, they get him just in time. It run the Tempest double runs out, and Miss Chance up here. White Man will live, but... That's nice, but overall, once he gets that Mjolnir on, it's going to be like... Oh, we have a smoke up, so this... They need to stop this right. Yeah, this could be the time. If they can get there fast enough, but it's... It's going to be too late. The Aegis and the Cheese will go over to the side TNT, and, and look how close Evos were as well. This is painful. They've even got traps down. They need to be careful on the side of Evos. Fisher coming out. Oh, the Nimbus gets dropped. The four star four going into the eye logic with the BKB. No, Ninja Boogie looking a bit wet. He can't force out out of the pit. He's done. Barmel just trying to fire up. He needs to be a little bit careful. The BKB is still running. The Father God's Wrath coming out, doing a decent amount of damage. And they're in full retreat. Evos need to get out. The buyback from Bounty Honey is not here, though. And they're going to lose to BA. He's down. 65 seconds on the sideline. Now they can go for the base. Armel moving forward. The trap's coming out. Base target can't move quick enough. On the side, Tims will be able to kill enough white one. And the GG comes out. They know it's over at that point. They have no buybacks. They have no heroes left to defend. And. Well, game one, but technically game two go the way of TNC, and they are two up already. All right versus Dragonite, I suppose, but that's about it. Helps you out a bit. Uh, uh, I don't know. Crystal Maiden. Or? That's a lie. Oh, he has. He yeah, has. Yeah, there we go, too. He's gonna wait here. He realizes it's not worthwhile. He's just gonna get bought. Okay. Tim's waiting. The fissure. Oh, the fissure can't face. Target came a bit far forward. He really the death box. He's dead. He can't get away. First blood gets drawn, and well, that's a TNT that strikes. That's a very, very simple first blood right there. And the shaker on these side lanes. If you if you step out of your position, he just he's gonna die again. And also there's a chance that if you port this early on. They might just rotate the lanes. I think their lanes are fine. Oh, White Mon, the Fidget comes out. He's too slow. He can't move away. Level the Thunder Strike, which means he has no way of protecting himself. And they, this is this is another reason. Like, when you run these kind of aggressive supports... Match versus Pugna, where Pugna gets a few levels, though. You have to be careful uh, with the Pugna, though, because it's a gust, right? Yeah, that's true. That's true. But still, mm -hmm. Shaker is rotating in. They, they mm, think they, they need to kill. They need to slow this drought. The drought is key to everything. Mm. They, they did. They did find out. Crap coming out. And um, while that's happening, actually, no. Bot lane. I logic strikes on the Ninja Boogie as they rotate for round finally. Mm -hmm. So this is one of those situations in which your poor... Oh, wait, wait. No, he's just harassing a little bit. Tim's got spotted out. Avila knew something was up because he's like, well, well the Earthshake is nowhere. He didn't stop that kill bot. They, they pinged him out. They pinged him out as he was moving yeah, through the Radiant Ward as well. Yeah, so th they definitely knew where he was. It's a good it's a good ward to have versus a Shaker or an Earth Spirit or heroes like that that can come from behind and roll on you. But it's also like you're sitting there for ages like there's no fidget coming. Is he still here? Because <laughs> like, this is the thing yeah. is that we talked about this with Pudges 
usually they just waste too much time. And, and Marana is it's the same with Nerve Shaker. The Fissure, though, he catches him. Avila needs to get away from this. The Gust should give him the space to move away. Taking a lot of damage, though. Going to move across. The Nerve Blast going to be there to decrypt fight. Drow, getting low. They cancel the TP. Another decrypt fight, though. Yep. He's going to have a Nerve Blast. Avila dead. Nice simple clean up them. Armel getting the advantage he needs, just keeping his head in the dust. And be more bot. Disrupt's gonna go down. High logic trying to move across the Gabby. Gets through the swarm though. The magic missile is gonna come out. Ninja Boogie looks like he's in trouble. Does get the crystal nerve round. High logic gonna be chased on two. This is very last. No, he gets the foul hit. Gabby the double kill is gonna make it triple now because he's gonna chase down. Lasu, it doesn't actually have enough to deal with this. He has no mana. No, the top guy on forward and that's gonna use a fairy fight. Diamond on the tower, the charge with the phantom rush. Nice fish to ensure. Triple kill for Gabby. Yeah, that's just really nice. Oh. And he'll TP out. Oh, he gets it! Oh, he gets it. Oh, so close. It won't kill him. And iLogic, got to be careful on the side. He's getting low on HP. We'll use the south to heal up. They might go hunting on the Gabby. They can go They actually need to be careful about this because this PL is actually still very friendly and they're both very squishy. The Weaver might go for him there because he knows... This is greedy. The... This is super greedy, though. And Jabugi doesn't have any stick charges. They're going to turn around. iLogic is being hit. He's taking a lot of damage here. You just can't... Do... You're just giving him more value for the Shrine and you're trading effectively. Themselves, though. It's not horrible, not horrible for them. Overall pressure that PL a little bit. The same PL that just had the triple kill, so they have to do something Radiant's about him. Top tower is under the problem is, while you're putting all that tension there in the bot lane, you're gonna dive again. Gabby, he's gonna win this. Kuchi hurts a lot by logic. Uh oh, sentry here, frostbite, he's dead. He has no way out of this, and now back. Blanket trying to go in. He will be able to kill Ninja Boogie, but in return, he will fall as well. I mean. This is a double kill now, most likely for the PL, maybe. Hey, magic missile, Gabby getting ready to chase. That is a Fissure again, team. No, he gets the neutral tonight. Oh, those, that Fissure. Oh, it triggered them. He had to do it then while that's happening in the top lane. Oh, and it's like we've bounced back and forth, right? Because is it a Flyku? Or Raitsu? Or Raitsu? Oh, whatever. Flyku? I would suppose Flyku. Flyku sounds good. All right, Ninja Boogie in the top, taking this amount of damage, but White Mon, he's feeling in return. Ninja Boogie has a lot more mana to work with. The Frostbite's there. Crystal Nova will be off cooldown soon. White Mon's just going to be slowly chased down here. Dragon there it is, Crystal Nova. Ah, Cuckoo gets with the brief fire. Even better for him. Yeah. Bot lane, there's a dive. Gabby, he's gone this time. They, this time, he will not survive the stupidity of these dives. Yeah, they, they get the unstoppable streak, six kill streak, and they get 500 gold this early on. It was definitely Ow. necessary. Top lane. And Necrofoss is fine. He just shrugs it off. Like basically so strong versus uh, Drow Ranger that if they don't slow him down, if he gets the defusal and he's working towards oh, it. it. Magic Missile coming out of the swarm on him as well. Tim's taking a lot of damage. Cannot even turn around for the fissure. Hmm. Also uh, for the aggression. Yeah, they, I think they wanted to use Glimpse on DK on mid on Kuku, but he was really positioning himself so well that the Glimpse wouldn't have even moved him. So it was nice. Be very careful about that. Bot lane, the Fissure comes out. Lights down to half HP. The Magic Missile in return. Tim's needs to get out of here. But Gabby getting low as well. Ninja Boogie going to be ran down the Swarm. Still, and he cannot get it off in time. Uh, he gets it off in the end. He gets 33 gold, but he dies for his troubles. Now, Tim's been dove on the tower. Needs to be careful. Doesn't use the enchant term in time. Still going to be dove. He has to turn around for Fissure, but it may be too late. No. Gets the double gem and A out. No, Logic will get the kill. Suddenly, we've. It's the draw. She's giving so much damage. She exists. She exists. And that's all she has to do. Just exist. Just be alive somewhere across the map. I'm out. Look at this. Look, look at how tempered they are against the glimpse back. It's going to be there now. The gust's going to come. He's going to grab five first. And logic is here. Tim's does have the Echo Slam. It's level six. going to move across. says Weaver. That's the big one. The enchant terms there. The Echo Slam will get the kill of the life drain. And now they might hunt for more. Cuckoo doesn't have enough mana for the Dragon Tail. Eight seconds he's got the Sol Ring. Magic Missile comes out. Hit by the Wave of Terror as well. But the Fissure Block off Light 2. He's going to have to be abandoned by a team. He's actually going to swap someone back. And now in the back for the Scythe. Comes in. Face hug against the kill to Armel. Stun coming out, but it won't matter. There's too much regen on this Necrofox. Yeah, this is going to... Well, they're going to pressure this tower. Slightly forward towards his Diffusal. Once he has that Diffusal, he might even opt to go join these fights. He has a really... Uh oh, Ninja Boogie got found. Magic Missile's there. They're just running down. He's, uh, he's, he's out past his... I haven't got sight for 20 seconds, and Gabby is lurking here. And he might be forced to fight. Yo, how pretty D. They're checking for him. They just come now. Tim says, I'll throw my life away. And actually, no, they still know about Gabby. They see him. Uh oh. No dog. They stick down the army. He can't actually get out of this. There's no doppelganger available. He's dead. I, I believe he could have used the doppelgang there a bit earlier and or just ported out because they were Oh sides coming out, Ninja Boogie going as well, a snowball and our control, Kuki brought back, controlled up the kinetic field, he's also gonna fall. And we are only twelve, almost thirteen minutes in. As so look at that smoke. They know where he is. They They're are running coming into around. him. 
Let's, they're gonna find Ninja Boogie. Ninja Boogie, he's gonna break on the high ground, and well, there they go to work. Magic Missile, the fissure will not change the outcome at all. And in fact, Blight Suit, he's about that. It's gonna fall so fast. Might one. He's got an invis room here. He sees Cuckoo. The glimpse back gonna be there. The clinic field not on the mark though. The visual will block out the fight. Now Lockdown's gonna disrupt that. They might get it. The swap coming in. Cypher's dead. No. The Fred Fight runs out. It looks like Dragnet will still go down. But Whitemon, he hasn't even died yet. They're finding him. The Echo coming in. Red Big. Oh, Tim's with a triple kill. I Logic still alive. He has the Aegis. They don't want to fight with him. Ninja Boogie's gonna get low. Tim's gonna move away. He's been haunted by Freedom Reveal. The Fish is gonna come up. They're gonna get it once. Do they want to go twice? They do. The Enchant Term's gonna be ready. Tim's here he comes. Can they get the big pop? Is gonna be the question. The light train's there. I logic with the time lapse back. He's gonna kill all the CM. They don't have enough here. The fissures on cooldown for four seconds. And uh, it basically let TNC kill off Disruptor plus Venge for free. And then that back hold. It gave him, like, because they put him on the high ground as well, it gave him all the info he needed. Gabby, by the way, in a lot of trouble here. He has the doppelganger, but when you use it, because the swarm's going to be there, he tried to get it. No, he gets rid of his type of the worm out of the gloom's back. He's dead. Yeah, he can't get rid of the... He'll be fine. The life screen for Bomb out to ensure it. <laughs> they really rescued their uh, private prime right there. <laughs> <laughs> they have to keep him alive, get him home to his mother. She's already lost too many children to this war, and they're gonna lose more. They're gonna go in Ninja Boogie, found the tree, like they break every tree in the area. Take what Evos have, maybe take some of the Necrocross out and put Dragonite in. The tempo is so much quicker. Yeah, the tempo with Dragon that Dragonite brings to the table is just incredible with the draw all around. No, no, they're gonna get killed with Gabby again. I love punished. However, when that viewer solos the PL so fast and so easily, the smoke does not matter and you waste it. Bottom lane DK is falling. Cuckoo's been found. Magic Missile is going to come out. They've got the control, the means. And they've got the damage though. Are they moving in? Yes, he does. Cuckoo trying to hide, but it won't matter. They see him with the ward on the high ground. At least it'll make it obvious it's there. All right, so they know that there's a ward there. Ready, and they smoke up inside. See, this is this is the play. They need to they look at this. Look, look at they, they're going to connect with this as well. Evo just smoke himself. Tim has a high five. The echo of the two. The vision free gets gusted up, but it's too late. The people are dead, and Drow is in full retreat. Was well, no part of this, but needs to be careful. Tim's could get aggressive. The blink is on cooldown for six more seconds. The frost arrow is coming out. Tim's, Tim's, what is this? No, no. The two crab fight keeps him alive, but Ninja Boogie won't be so low. The freeze and goes down. I love ten little damage. Has to use time lapse. Avile is dead, and I logic he can't not go any deeper. He gets the kill. Tim's, he'll be happy with that. That's actually so perfect from Tim's. So this is this is definitely a good pickup. What? Things coming out. Mm. They're about to count, make contact. Tim's does see face. I can move forward to press fight. There it is. Just blows him up. Dead. Falls him to the ghost route. The Dagon reveal for Marmel is good. Hello, this is why you don't pick Necro versus Pugman. And Light 2, he's in trouble as well. He has no alice. They're going to put the stack of No, no, the guts. This is going to fight. PL doing a lot of damage. The BKB coming on high logic. But no, PL is outside of that fight. Tim's going to be chased on Doom here. Armel's going to go down. There's going to be a double kill for the Wii. But looks at one more tap on the Tim's. The vision just in time, but it won't make a difference. On the back foot, though, they are cleaning up house. Cuckoo could not be approached. In the tree line, Gabby is waiting. Doppelganger forward. Avile, he does have the Shadow Blade. Gus is off cooldown. But no, moving forward. They see him with Spiral Lance. Vila is super long HP, he needs Weaver. to be careful here. He's, He's gonna keep chasing. No! The stun on the Weaver! He's running out of mana just enough. The time lapse is level 3, so he doesn't actually need the mana anymore. The Frostbite was not there again. I logic. He's just cutting them around at the back foot here, but they're gonna TP out. They're actually gonna leave Ninja Boogie behind. He's going, wait, where the hell is my team? He's going for the TP and he'll be fine. Glimps? No! The Glimps! They get him! Oh, CM! But he was busy looking. Tim. Evos is definitely gonna try to take down Ross. Tim's, this is his moment. Oh, he's going in the all in the pit. The all in the pit. He can bring in the echo. He's gonna catch him. The vision follow up the gust afterwards. But no, they were just one. Then they cross down. The life is gonna be there. And Black 2 is gonna fall. Then Static Storm. Avelia just fighting in it. Gabby's gonna go for it. Gonna chase for more. I love to need to move away. The BKB is still running. Ninja Boogie. He might fall, but it's worth it. The Aegis does get popped. They're gonna be back up in a second. Gabby, he's ready to buy. We were dead already. And the buyback from Drought. What can you do with it? They're gonna keep chasing and find White Mon as well. The glimpse back's not gonna matter. Triple kill for Armel. And the turnaround is there they could just go to your base i mean they're going to that base either way <laughs> that's the problem yeah but they don't have to ask permission this way uh that's a bold tp by blind suit the dagon the life trade magic missile thrown out but the dragon tail is there and he is gonzo no way out never blast and the final tap comes from armel's right clicks goodbye revengeful who's next <laughs> and he's a bolty it feels like the crumbling like the one the one by one is it's there and it's bad ninja boogie check because in, in this whole game that is the biggest item pickup on either side weaver 
Weaver, I logic. Oh, he might throw. He breaks the smoke. He needs to be careful here. The move for Dragnail is going to come out. They may found a target. Necrox just deletes him. I logic going to go to work here. Arm out. Just going to move away. The Glimmer Cape should be fine. The BKB being used by Logic pretty early. They might turn around. Look, the Ninja Boogie is going to go down. But they do have the Dragon Tail available. No. Cuckoo two on one. He can't fight against us. The Guts are going to control him. He will fall. He might be tanking, but not tanking. No, the crap No. The swap out team is getting closer, but they're cutting him out. He can't get an echo off. He's gone. Cuckoo's going to fall as well. as well. And those are the big pickings. And this game. They have the echo. Look at the stack as well. And he wants to behind the tree line, but this is dangerous. This can backfire very quickly. Tim's trying to assert Dom's the high ground. Goes in, there's a dragon tail. Obile, they found him. They're going to zap for him. No, the swap out. He's still alive, but it won't matter. They get him. Scabby, he went in pretty deep. The stack still was going to come up. They get Rocky to grab. Run away. The echo gets fluffed, but it won't matter. The BKB, I love to get his dragon back. Gabby, he's going to get outside. Down on the side of A5 seconds. Chase him for more. They will find the kill in Necroz, but now the turnaround. Cuckoo needs to get out. I logic he's out of mana, but he's not out of life. He's ready to find the crap fight. Life drain going to work for out the use of the time lapse, but he's going to keep going. The life drain persists. The stun control from Tim's. He's going to hit it off. The double kill by Armel. Chase now. Black team will fall. And white man, you can glimpse back all you want, but your team is dead, and you might join them. Cuckoo moving across. Get him. There it is. Triple kill. They will wipe the side of Evos. And with that, barely some double echo or double scythe. Uh, what about that cheese in the rush? Because anyone ever gonna pick that up? It's still sick. What? The whole world. That fight, no one know it. <laughs> I mean, you know what? The best one I've ever had is when I think it was about two months ago in a professional game. Don't mind the Venge dying, by the way. There was an Aegis. Because that's where Rosh is. Oh, this looks familiar. Opa, They're gonna go. fight here again. There's no TNT the way for the reveal phase. Hugger there it is. The fish comes out. Dragged out the swap out. It's gonna be there. We're down to half HP. The zap coming out. Trying to stay alive. Next should be fine. Cuckoo trapped in here by his own fish. And they'll give away the gem. Scythe 120 seconds on the side. Why are you forcing a 4 versus 5 fight when Rosh is gonna be up at any time? You're basically forcing yourself into a situation in which you're, you're, you're gonna have to buy back. ZK. All right, never mind. DK does Weaver. have the buyback. Yeah, Jesus. Two cheeses. Jesus. Just a casual two. Not too many. So they're gonna have two cheeses, they're gonna have the refresher shard, which oh. Tim is gonna be happy about. Oh, they're going in, they're trying to fight this. They're now right now on the back foot. BKB's coming out of the blight suit. Just trying to chase on the CM. This is all you're gonna get for right now being chased down. Trying to move on Tim. Spirit Frog's gonna be there, but he's hiding. He's waiting for this BKB to out the static storm. Catches on the Tim's, he's down. Blight suit finally out of BKB mode. The life drain will kill him off. He's happy with what he's done. Gabby chases over, finds the disruptor. Now they need to get face hugger out. If he dies, they could be in a lot of trouble. Gabby the BKB about to run out the DD though. And actually you're out of time. We'll turn around the side. We won't get it. No! It's too expensive! She's you need to be careful, but Yeah, there's Weaver as well. They're gonna continue messing with them. They need to. They're they cannot allow this to go. Oh, Gabby getting ready to swarm quick. The Gus coming out. Uh oh. Pugna protected by the Glimmer Cape. They still see him. Vilain Mufo needs to be careful. Get himself down. He can't. He's gone. Gabby hits too hard. I logic with the BKB. Just trying to catch you on the arm out. We'll be able to find him. But now, how do you get the pick? Gabby, he ate the cheese. He's full of tanky. And he's gonna pick up everything from you. The Aegis, the cheese, the refresher shard. You need to get out of dodge right now. You bought back on the drought. But what can you do with it? Cuckoo. Uh, run. That's what you have. They need to get out. Right now, down half HP, Benji's a little bit in trouble, get him throw out the stun, but get stunned in return. The spirit wrestle won't matter on Cuckoo, because you're losing health a lot quicker. Your team has left you hung and dry. And with that, Tim's up in five seconds. This is where they're going to break base. They rushed, they, they, they delayed with the, with the Vengeful, they killed the Crystal Maiden. They were just unlucky that BL found that missing cheese from the first rush bit and he used it, and because of that, he made quick work out of Drow, when instead he was like 10% HP. It, it, they, they could have defended that rush if not for that cheese, so... Unfortunate, very unfortunate for Weavos. That cheese, they've been sitting there so long. The drag down, moving forward, doing a lot of damage. Here. Actually, Weaver, he's low, he can't get away the fish. Ah. Just the tip! No he has no buyback. Face Hugger needs to get out, uses the, he uses the ghost route just to escape. And that might be it. They might just roll over his base now. You need a miracle out of Drow. Tim's doesn't even need the Echo Slime. Just give me, just give me the tip of that fissure. Just the tip of the fissure. Just a little tickle. Just a little tickle of that tip of that fissure. And here's a thought. Oh. Double dragon form. Why leave? Why slow down? P this would have been the, the benefit is that PL does not push building particularly quickly, but with a Dragon Knight. Dragon Knight and the Pugna. Like, oh, yeah. Definitely do. They need to. Like, not, they can't afford 50 seconds. Do you feel like, like oh. they will have to go Mega Creeps at this rate? They, yeah. they can. They can, they can hold that top. They can attempt to go for top. <laughs> Look at these guys. They're oh, wow. They're Look at this. Evos, they need a pick off a Ninja Boogie. He's so deep. The kinetic field is going to connect the glimpse back. Uh oh. He's in a lot of trouble. Use the Ghost Step to try and protect himself. He needs to turn around with the Frostbite. But he might die. The Death Pole is going to get him. No. Now they're out of the base. Evos, why won't we move on? No, the Echo just blows him up. Don't blink or you might miss it. Necros hides in the trees, pretending to be a tree and protector at this stage. They're going to the base. They want everything. They want this series done and done to 3-0. And TNT, they can smell ESL Hamburg. 
as, as, as rich in smell as the cheese sitting on the ground for five goddamn minutes. They're gonna make it into Megas. They got the Megas. And look at this. They're even back here. They just saw our logic. He's not hanging around though. Right, he has the level 25 cuckoo. Movement speed, so he should be fine. He has the blink. He's getting ready. He just wants to see what's up on the high ground. They are in the base and they don't want to leave now. Gabby moving across. The swap's going to be Cuckoo D. Side way too early though. Doesn't need any damage. The BKB coming out. Ilogic trying to build it. He's the chief though. Cuckoo still just melded in. And Ilogic, he is committed to the kill with Gabby. It looks like he might go down once. The DD not helping out that much. The egg is expended. This may have been a mistake. They need to get out. The Dragonite did die in. The buyback's going to be there. But Gabby. He's the big one to kill. Fisher coming out. There you go. Flight two's low. The life drain will not be able to connect and kill him in time. But look at this. Oh, shaker, no. Tries to jump in. Gets the gust. Will be Glimmer's back. He'll be safe. They actually save him. The Axe reveal not getting the uh, intended outcome here. So far, they did not use that. They are poking. So he is. Gabby's he's going. To go in. He wants to, he's still not. Le look how close he's to level 25. Like, and that's all the difference. It's so close, but they're slowly taking down these towers. Oh, Echo coming on the side, the catch two! The side storm straight away, team's in a little bit of trouble, but no, Gustin out, but he'll still die. Venge is living, he gave me up, Gabby going in, look at the kill, but the crap by means he can't get a flat two yet. He needs to be away, I love to look at the back line, wants to get on top of armor, but no, turns around to Gabby, this to be, the dude needs to look back, he's trapped, he can't get out of this, trying to drop again to safety, he did hit reach 25. The freezing field interrupted pretty quickly with Gust, he's gonna go down. CM is out of this, Armel used up, he will get the kill disrupt him, he's gonna give his life for a turn. The dragon tail coming in, Cuckoo just trying to reduce his drought. He'll find him. He gets him. Face huggers alone. They may have actually done the buyback coming up with Weaver. He's the last man standing. He's the only one here with the Necrofossa. But the creeps are on the throne. They need to slow this down. And on the side, the two pushers for TNC still living. They are ready to hit buildings so they get the chance. The jump in the blink. Dragon Tail comes out. They go. They delay him. Necrofossa gone. The BKB there. Cuckoo. I logic has to hold this alone. Jason Ford. Cuckoo. BKB is going to run out. No, he could just go for the throw. They could just go for the throw. They don't even have to care about the Weaver. They got the Decrepify. I logic does not have the BKB. He cannot deal with this, and it looks like that is going to be it. TNT going to be going to Hamburg. All right.